Welcome to today's video where we're driving the skyline finally. Now, I wish we were going to like a track event or something like that and rewarding the skyline for waiting for so long for me to thrash it. But unfortunately, I made a grave discovery the other day. This car has technically run down a shuck end, which is like, if you're in Australia, it's like registration, I guess. Um, I'm not sure what it is in the US, but it's a safety inspection that has to be done every two years to your car. The whole shuck end process can be a little bit frustrating in Japan, especially as a car enthusiast, because when it comes to drifting and things like that, you have a lot of adjustable arms, and some of those are not shuck end legal. So what has to happen is all of that has to be taken off, OEM arms need to be put back on, you go get the inspection, you then go and put them back on. There are some arms that actually are legal, like allowed to for, for shuck end and things like that, like some Cusco ones and things like that, um, but, those arms are very limited in how much adjustability you can get, um, and uh, they're also four times the price of every other arm. And the reason why is because they paid the government and did that inspection and that test and everything like that so they could get approval for shuck-in. So anyways, that aside, we're gonna go head to Yashio factory. Okachan's gonna be the hookup. He's gonna sort me out. We're gonna get this car shuck in legal and everything. Today, we're not gonna get it all done in one day. It is a fairly big job. It's normally like a couple days. You leave it at the workshop and you know they slowly go through and make sure everything's legal. Like we have to even get rid of my oil catch can and stuff like that it's because that vents the atmosphere. It's, it's a bit of an ordeal, but it is worth it. Trust me, and anyone who's a car enthusiast goes through this every two years here in Japan. So anyways, let's head to Yashio factory. Unfortunately, it is a bit of a miserable day, but we're still gonna have some fun, hang out with Okachan, and I think that's awesome. This never gets old. <laughs> the gas station ads on the TV screens. But this has been a while. Drink, my precious. It's actually been ages since I filled up the Skyline. Glad we're putting some fresh fuel in there. Um, ignore the burnt rubber, please. There's no, nothing has been happening. Um, this thing's looking pretty miserable. It really does look like a drift missile, like it belongs at Ebisu. Finally made it to Yashio factory after three hours of brutal peak traffic. There was some accident, it sucked. But we're here now. So it begins. We've backed my car in here and I'm gonna to get to changing the rear arms as soon as I can. That way we can get this thing pumped out as quick as possible. Um, the best thing about Shuken in Japan is for some reason, if you have a Hikus cancel bar or Hikus illuminated kit, that's totally fine. They don't care about that for Shuken. So my epic, it's kind of hard to see without the light there, but my epic GK Tech Hikus illuminated kit that goes in there and gives you tow arms is totally legal and fine. I just need to change out these two arms here and we'll be good. Quick little break for lunch, and today we are eating what's called a nori ben, which I just learnt today is it's pretty much nori means uh, seaweed, and ben is short for bento. So this is the first time I'm actually eating an official nori ben. I've never had it in this layout before, so pretty pumped. So just finished lunch, and here's the update. I've already finished both on this side, and Yuta is over here tag teaming this thing, and I think he's uh. Finished on this side now. Hell yeah! Nearly ready for shucking. Also, I need to take this off. This is uh, this is not legal because it like goes past the end of the car. These are really dangerous apparently. Um, so I might take that off. <laughs> so I've gone over the rear and double checked everything that we need to change, and we're good now. All we need to do is work out whether or not the car height needs to come up um, to clear. Uh, we need to have it roughly uh, nine centimeters off the ground at all points. Now, the other issue as well is you can't have two wider wheels. There has to be a little bit of, uh, like the wheels have to be inside the guards a tiny bit. They can't be level or protruding the guards. And these ones got some big fat boy tires on there. Also, uh, they've had a bit too much fun on these. So, got some new wheels that I'm excited to show you. <laughs> Putting some OEM S15 wheels on the car, front and rear. My fronts are too big as well, um, but <laughs> I can't wait to see what this car looks like with S15, 17s on it. I think it's gonna look hilarious. Let's, uh, let's put them on and have a look. Well, we're all in the green now on the, on the rears with these. 
That wheel fit there. <laughs> Moving on to the front now. And you guys gotta look at the rear of this thing. <laughs> I absolutely love it. <laughs> it's so dumb, but it's so good. All right. So pretty much the goal is, is we gotta go over everything in the front, make sure everything's all good there. Um, we're, I'm pretty sure that like caster arms and things like that are fine, but we'll check in the book and make sure. Oh, damn. It's got this thing on the ground. <laughs> With the spaces on, they actually aren't like sucked in too much. They, damn, there's a lot of camera on this. <laughs> they look pretty cool, not gonna lie. Never seen this thing with S15 stuff. So we've got to push this back now and then we've got to measure it. Uh, we've got a special tool here. It's nine centimeters from the bottom. And what we're going to do is slide that under the car and make sure it doesn't hit anywhere. And then we should be good. So get this thing off the, uh, the little ramps and then measure everything up. And hopefully we're in the clear. If we're not in the clear, I think we may need to raise the front a bit because this bumper sits really low in the front. Otherwise, I might just cut that whole front little lip off. <laughs> so it's the moment of truth. Will this clear the lowest point? on the car the answer is dun dun nope look at that this is the crappiest exhaust ever um it, it always you can see it's like damaged there because it always hits on like the coin parking here in japan so i really want to change it um but yeah it looks like we're gonna have to raise the car by like two whole centimeters to get that to clear maybe even three to be safe but that's the lowest point right there so I've been really wanting to change the exhaust on this to like a HKS one, so I'll probably do that as well. But uh, for now, let's just raise the coilovers, we'll mark them so we can go back to the same height. And that's pretty much all we need to do now. We've done everything else we need like on the outside of the car, so we should be in the all green. I still can't get over this wheel fit, man. <laughs> So we've hit a bit of a dead end today and that's because of that center part of my exhaust. We've risen the car as much as it will go and it's still too low, so we're gonna Either we've got a few tricks we can try to pull that exhaust up with changing the hangers and stuff like that and using hose clamps to like compress it and bring it up higher. Um, so we're going to try and do that but the goal is to take it to the shotgun place on Monday. Right now it's Friday so weekend obviously uh, we're all off not working and Monday we'll do it all then. So Okachan's on the phone right now booking a reservation because of COVID and stuff you can't just rock up at the moment. Um, but yeah, worst case scenario, if we can't get the exhaust high enough I'm just buying a new HKS one. Let's go. So Okachan's gonna drop me off home in the truck because he's picking up a car from down my side of town where I live. Time warping ahead to a little bit later in the evening now where I'm in the S15 and I'm heading to Daikoku Futo PA. And the best thing about it is waifu Chan's with me. Woo! Tell me what you told me. Tell, tell them, tell them what you said. You missed what? Just going out. No, you said something else about the seat you're in. I missed this, this well, this. You video missed going for drives. Yeah, drives, yes. All right, all right. We got there in the end. That's what's yeah. important. Yeah. Nice bottle of water. Thank you. Just Thank bought you. the biggest, fattest one there, didn't yes. you? Yes. <laughs> fountain of water. A fountain of water. All right. So we're heading to Daikoku PA. I'm pretty excited. It's wet and miserable, but there's going to be some friends there, so it's going to be a good time. And uh, yeah, we've already um, we've already lost traction in the front end, and I had to do manual ABS maneuvers on the brakes today, hitting deep puddles of water. It's been fun. It's been fun, hasn't it? Yes. May learned about puddles of water and sketchy front tires today. And how not to break your airflow meter. Your airflow meter. Yes, yes. I told her about not going through big puddles because then water gets in your airflow meter and your car won't run. Yes. Yeah. I can't wait. Uh, and I oh, still oh. don't have a license. You still don't have a license. Yeah, that's I know true. about cars. Kind of. Um, don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> Alrighty. So uh, we'll pick things up once we get there. We are just rolling into Daikoku PA right now. Oh, not expecting a huge turnout whatsoever because of all the bad weather and the rain, but there'll still be like some cars here. Definitely looks uh, looks fairly empty. Oh, it's not too bad. Honestly, it's not that bad for a rain down night. Yeah, some cool cars. Cool, cool 350Z. All right, let's go find a park. You haven't been here since they renovated everything, hey? No. Yeah, yeah you're gonna love it. They did so much cool stuff. What did we just find? My favorite car. What is it? Stop it! <laughs> you look so funny right now. What is it, mate? What model car is this?
Are you trying? What, what, what model car is this, babe? It's RX8, right? Yes, it is. Congratulations. Yeah. You did well. Putz, 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 putz. You guys don't know when you say putz, 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 what does that mean? Applause. It means clap. Applause. <laughs> so, this is, this is not a normal RX8 because this one actually, in my mind, looks cool because of the Tasha. Very, very sick. I love it. Even on a rainy day like that, you still got cars like this coming out of Dokoku. It's awesome. What do you think? Would you get an RX-8 with this much stuff on the side? Yeah, depends on the art, but yeah, definitely. Hell yeah. What do you think of the wheels? Are they what they think like? Alright, who cares about the wheels? What do you think about the Wang game? I like the Wang. You like the Wang? Yeah. Is that big enough for you? No, I can go a bit bigger. Yeah, I agree. Anyways, we've now got Look, I actually know something about these cars now. I built a 400 horsepower one. Well, this is an MB. I built an NA. Same, same, just different front end, different headlights. But uh, yeah, a couple MBs out here. May's trying to follow me with the umbrella. Yeah. She's such a good waifu. Look at this. Oh, oh, see, I can't even get the frame because she's just following me everywhere. She's like, literally, you're, you're literally a cameraman's assistant right now. Well, that's what I do for work. <laughs> literally. Anyways. Oh, yeah. Here we are, a couple MBs looking fine. I'd probably pick the white one, hard top. They both have hard tops, but this one just looks nice. The white, little bit of a toucher on the hood, the sticker there for the Mexican wheel gap. The wheels are actually kind of cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Babe, maybe I need to build one of these in this uh, over here. Maybe for you? A nice yellow one or something? I just sprayed all of them. Ah, that's fine. A what? This camera's nearly dead, so I don't mind if it gets water on it. And I've got replacements, so you know we should build a, one of these for, me? for you. Yeah, like a yellow one. I think you'll love it. No. Okay. Well, guess I'm building one for myself then. Yo, this NB is actually really sick. Yo, where's Chris at? He needs like a really good NB, like a sexy NB. Look at this thing. I like this blue. What do you think of this? Would you call this like baby blue? Sky blue. Is like. Sky blue? Yeah. Okay. The lighting is so bad here tonight. Hopefully, if we get it from this side, there you go. Camera pro tips with Sammy, guys. Hard top, different wheel mix up, so high chance that this guy slides this. But that's kind of nice, clean. The aero, the skirts, side steps is what they're called in Japanese, not side skirts, but looks kind of nice. What's hmm? What's what? That's the latch for the roof, because the roof comes off. Normally, it's a convertible, like a soft top that goes down, but this is a hard top, so it's like a fiberglass or carbon fiber hard top. Yeah. Oh, it's actually really cool. Uh, the Saurus behind us. Um, these, I don't think, are the JZZ30 models. Although I can't remember how to tell from the outside without a badge. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a wild guess and say these have one UZs in them. They're very cool though. I like them. Very nice. They're such an underrated chassis. Literally, um, it's kind of like you know how everyone treats the R33 as the parts car in the Skylines. This is kind of what all the Toyota JZX guys or anyone who wants a, a 1J engine, they treat this chassis as the parts car. Well, as long as it's the JZZ31 with the 1J in it. Um, if it's the Sora one, then no one really touches them. I'm not being mean, I promise. It's just it's just fact. Because everyone would just part them out because the doors themselves weigh the same weight as like an MB Miata. Um, if you are an owner <laughs> of one of these uh, Sora chassis, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Those doors literally weigh like a couple hundred kilos. Nice Laurel. I love these Laurels, babe. What do you think about this? We, we're due to buy another car, so we gotta start thinking about what to get. Yeah. Now, I know that you're potentially getting your license soon, but that's probably gonna be more in the end of the year. So we need something else, like, soon. You know? Laurel, another casual, RB. Casual hakuche. <laughs> hakuche, a casual hakuche. <laughs> you guys know what hakuche means, hakuche? Uh, let me know in the comment section. Hey, hey, There's hey. a nice JZX100 there. Next to a Yashio factory spec S15, which I can actually say looks good. <laughs> it's like the only car I own that looks decent. As long as you're looking at it from this side. The moment you come to this side, you're like, oh, something went wrong there. But it doesn't look too bad. The drift stitching worked well. There's a chunk missing out of the bottom of my bumper, but eh. Hey. This is an NC. This is what James owns. He has a red one and he clutch kicks it all the time. Nice Evo 9. I don't know. <laughs> I just picked a random number. But yeah, ooh, picking the best till last. All right, so some of them 8.6 is there. I really need to work out what's wrong with my camera settings. I swear like the low light was way better. Maybe something's up with it. Probably the ND filter's on. 
But we got a Hachiroku here on TEs, little TEs. Very nice. Very nice. So clean. Yeah, this is a good one. I love that. Yo. What's that say? Mitonato. <laughs> Very cool. All right, guys, I'm going to explain to you something that's going to get you laid 99% of the time in Japan. Wear matching clothes with your wife if she's Japanese. She's wearing an LZ hoodie. You might not be able to see it, but there is an LZ logo there. Um, I'm wearing an LZ hoodie, and we're both wearing our Nike kicks. You're not gonna do it? Oh. Look at my little. No, no, there's no little red NA here, so I can't do it. <laughs> oh, I wanted to film that truck and all the lights on it. I guess he woke up and it was time to leave. Anyways, it's still like you can still have a party here at Daikoki. There's a lot of people around. We're gonna go start talking to some people now and and whatnot. But it's still a good night, and there's still gonna be more people rocking up, even though it's. Literally pouring down rain. This is the longest rainy season we were watching the news like today. In a century or something. In a century, this is the longest recorded rainy season that Japan's had in the longest time. So it's kinda it's kinda crazy. Anyways, let's go see what else we can find. That's a pretty clean JZX 100 rolling in chaser. I should have just gone. Ooh, wouldn't you prefer one of these than an RX8, babe? Seriously, look at this thing. That is clean. I like his wheel game and uh, his painted wheels, uh, well, tires, not wheels. You know what I mean, same, same. Content Master 64 here, boys. Tonight we're taking a look at uh, this incredible rainstorm that is uh, falling down. A friend rocked up. It's so good to see this thing every time in person. Always blows my mind that someone took a Toyota Hiace and put a uh, GTR full R35 drivetrain in there. So sick. And then that it's Link powered as well. Link ECU, my buddies. I love this thing. Wouldn't that be like a cool mum's van? Like a soccer mum's car? Because yeah. you always say you want a daily R35, so. Yeah. That's kind of an R35, but in a van. You know what I've been wanting? What? Stasia. A Stasia? For a mum car. For a mum car? Yeah. I'm okay with that. 260 RS? GTR version? Okay. You don't you don't know what that means, but just nod your head. Okay. All right, guys. We got my dad car. It's coming. So, guys, I just uh, I just met this new this new friend. Um, you guys have never seen him before. Vin Diesel. Yeah, Vin Sorry. Diesel. I was thinking I'm One Punch serious. Man, but you know, <laughs> it's Elbo. He's uh, got a haircut. Although I don't know if you can call it a haircut because there's no hair there to cut anymore, but... Yeah, I've been doing a bunch of push-ups, squats, yep. running 10 kilometers a day. Yep. Okay, cool. When are the eyebrows going? Uh, next week. Next yep. week? Yeah, I got a plan. All right, sick. But um, tell us about your new car, dream car. Right, so this is the new Miata. Okay. Um, it, it, it's great because, you know, it's got both a turbo and a supercharger. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, a turbo in the front, yep. supercharger in the back. And this is an NSX, right? Uh, the internals, yeah, yeah. The internals yeah. are? The is the best one. <laughs> <laughs> Even my wife knows something's up. <laughs> yeah, it's like, hang on, it doesn't sound quite right. This yeah. doesn't sound quite right. Yeah, this is it. This is the AP1. So it's clean, it. dude. Love it. Very nice. When's the carbon roof coming? Well, maybe at the same time I get the wing. Ooh, wing game. Dude, it's clean. You even got a nice Recaro. Yeah. Oh, ASM tooth edition. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So oh, you got a nice little day. Pengu there? Yep. Hell yeah, dude. Clean. You did well. Soft top. Sick. Oh, nice little lip. Yep. Clean, dude. You can exhaust, uh, Z40 wheels. Sick, dude. Yeah, I love it. And then what I like best, actually, I did it at the beginning, but I really like the lights. Oh. Yeah, they're really nice. Yeah. What's that brand that makes these? Uh, Depot. Oh, that's Depot. cool. I love that. Sick, dude. Yeah. Well, you did well. I'm glad you found another uh, bright yellow convertible. Right? Yeah, That's very cool. It's a bit sad there for a bit. It was. But, you know, one thing leads to another, and, and here we are. I was thinking about it, and I said this to you. I was like, why is it that, like, you crash yours while I get one? Because I was building the one in the States at that time. So I think, basically, my old car was resurrected as, as your Miata. Okay, yep, yeah. yep. Which then 
had some unfortunate incidents, right? But yeah, well, hey, you know, it happens. It happens, it happens. That's it. So hopefully we can go for some drives soon. Hell yeah. It's come a long way. It's, it, it, yeah. I need to get some stuff fixed on it after that crash, but otherwise it's all good. Yeah, I know. It looks so good in person. I wish the camera did it justice. Can't even t see like the pearliness to it. So is, is it done? Like, is it basically done or? Basically, but uh, well, there's a lot of changes coming under the hood. Yeah, there's, there's more stuff coming, but we'll talk about that. I'd be a terrible YouTuber if I revealed all that, right? Visually, anything, anything else? Uh, visually, no. Uh, maybe some like fender fa flares when I want to increase my wheel gain, but that's about it. Yeah. I'm pretty happy where it's at. Oh, I need to put more air in these. These are still aired down from my drift day. <laughs> did you have fun, Waifu? Yes, I did. Get some light on. You had fun? I had, I had fun. That's good. I had a lot of fun for a wet, rainy night at Daikoku. Like I said, it always surprises me who comes out on these wet nights. Anyways, we're going to drive home, hopefully get some McDonald's, but it's pretty late. I don't know if they'll still be open. May really wants the nuggets. <laughs> Let's yeet. <laughs> Never gets old. <laughs> so we're in a tunnel, and I think you know what that means, guys. It's gate time. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so good. I miss that. I love this car so much. What I do think, you think, babe? I can imitate the gate, gate sound now. All right, give me your best wastegate impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta do the, you gotta do the do, 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 do at the end. <laughs> Back home now, and seriously, such an epic day. Got to go to Yashio Factory, hang out with Okachan, work on the Skyline, try and like, you know, sort all of that kind of stuff out. By the way, the car we picked up on the way home, uh, I wish I filmed this, but it was like, it all happened so fast, was a Stasia with an SR20 swapped in it. So we'll probably get to see that in the next couple days when I go back. Um, but seriously, epic, epic car. Anyways, that aside, seriously, Best day, like I said, being able to spend it at the end here with May and do a bit of a date night was super cool and being able to go to Daikoku as well and hang out with friends and catch up and see cars. And it was just a really good time and I'm sure you can tell like I'm feeling a lot more comfortable being home, you know, a lot more spontaneous and just my normal kind of like stupid self and doing silly stuff. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Smash that like button, write us a comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Peace out. Jamata.